was raining about two tenths of an inch an hour, decently off and on, not real hard, but raining. I went to see what was happening. This is the outflow from York Pond, and this will be immediately followed by looking at the uh, Seekonk River side of the outflow from York Pond. The tide's coming in, the water's going out pretty good. I went over to the concrete structure where the, where the stone channel empty, empties into the pond. You can see the, stone, the, the, the plastic catcher and how the water, even though it's not raining real hard, is almost right up to the top of where um, it blocks. And um, if you notice the algae on the wall, um, at about six it's inches above the height of the walls that are coming down from the channel, there's algae still, which means that the that this, if it really rains hard, fills up and backs up, and that's up where the, the flooding comes from. That's where it runs over the bank, it pushes High the water the all the way back, runs over the bank. Blocking. It's kind of an interesting no operation. You can see how hard it's coming out of the, out of the channel. This is a better picture showing wall. how high the water comes up on the, on the concrete structure when it rains really hard. Remembering that it's not raining really hard, the water right there is almost the halfway up the wall. You know, we're only getting about two tenths of an inch in an hour. You know, what would happen if we got an inch in an hour? It would be over the top. So this is looking at that. You can see how fast the water is moving. Um, just wanted to get a few pictures to show you what it's like, you know, only when it rains moderately. No there's no water in the, the woods, hill. there's no water running off the hill, just the water puddles. running in the channel. You can see some puddles on the ground, but that's just from the rain. This, this is where... where when it does overflow, the is the highest, That's where it the furthest bank. west, the furthest this upstream where, the where it overflows on both sides of the, of the sides channel. Here, and, um, you know, the but water is halfway up the wall. Above this spot, this the walls get taller. Of, here it's the same height as it is all the way down the rest of the channel. And, um, and you know, um, nothing's now, overflowing now, but, you know, it's really not raining that hard. You know, so the water here is now about a foot deep. The wall is only three and a half foot high. Five times as much water, it'd be easily over the bank. You can see where it erodes. I'm a little further upstream, you know, just to give you a you good impression of how the hard the water's the running. And the fact that the once you've gone further upstream, good, there's you know, no place that the water is jumping the channel. You can definitely see here where the water jumps the wall. And it definitely jumps the wall there. That it's higher on the wall. To end my little excursion, I went up to where the, the water comes out from underground and the stone channel begins this up by Blackstone Boulevard, heading the, the east Boulevard towards the Seekonk River. You can see it's running pretty channel. good. By this where time it had almost stopped raining and it hadn't rained really hard for a couple of hours. But you can see it's going good, I mean, it's but you can also right now, really understand really that if you were getting a lot more rain, you and we do on occasion, that this channel and is yeah, not big enough to right. hold it, you know, especially hard, with a, a, you know, a, a, a partial dam Stop. at the lower Here's end. Old. Come back again. This is what we got. <laughs>